Hello. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the MadCat Prime 7 user interface so you can get familiar with it and start working on your projects right away. The PDC MadCat Prime workspace has a modern look and feel and consists of the following worksheet and user interface items. Located in the top left corner is the PDC MadCat Prime button that contains commands for working with files, things like new, open, save, save as, and close. Command to print the current worksheet, the options menu, and the exit option. The quick access toolbar is located next to the MadCat Prime button and contains frequently used commands. You can add or remove commands to the quick access toolbar or you can change the position of the toolbar from the top here to the bottom of the ribbon. The open worksheet bar is located immediately below the ribbon and displays one or more tabs. Each tab bears the name of an open worksheet. If no worksheets are open, the open worksheet bar displays a single tab named Untitled. The main element of the UI is the ribbon that contains tabs with specific names that group related functionality and makes it easy to find the features that you're looking for. In the Math tab, we have all the math related functionality. From the region section, you can insert math regions, soul block, a chart component, and text or image regions. Next, we have the operators and symbols section that provides quick access to the mathematical operators that can be found in the product, a wide range of math symbols and Greek letters, the programming operators, the built-in constants, as well as the symbolic evaluation with all the available keywords and modifiers. MathCAD also uses labels to differentiate between variables, constants, functions, and keywords, and will automatically assign a label to the terms that you type in the worksheet. If you need to assign a different label, you can do it from this menu here. From the Units drop-down menu, you can choose from a wide range of built-in units that can be attached to your variables. Doing this will enable you to take advantage of MATCAD's intelligent unit system that handles unit conversions and checks the unit consistency throughout your calculations. In the Input and Output tab, we have the Include Worksheet option that allows you to embed another worksheet inside the current one and the worksheet converter that allows you to convert files from a legacy version like MATCAD 15 to a MATCAD Prime format. In the Data Import Export section, we have quick access to the Read Excel function that allows you to read data from an external file. And we also have the Excel component that enables you to embed an Excel file inside the MATCAD worksheet. The Insert Object button allows you to insert different OLE objects in the worksheet and using the combo box control, you can create drop-down menus that can be assigned to a variable definition. In the Functions tab, we can find all the built-in functions that are available in the software organized by categories. MATCAD Prime has over 600 built-in functions and common expressions. From the Functions tab, you can also toggle the All Functions sidebar, where you can filter the functions based on a keyword that you can type in the search bar. Holding the mouse over one of the functions will display a tooltip explaining how the function works, but you can also go to the Help section for that particular function by pressing F1. In the Matrix and Tables tab, you will find everything you need to be able to create, interact, and manipulate matrices and tables. And the same thing goes for the Plot tab, where you can pick from one of the different plot types available, and you also have access to all the formatting options available for this type of plots. In the Math Formatting tab, we have the options for font formatting of the math regions as well as the options to format the results. The text formatting tab provides the same options for font formatting 
but here we can also find the hyperlinks feature and the spell check. From the calculations tab, we can control the calculation of the worksheet, do error tracking, and we can also access the calculation options and tolerances. The document tab contains all the document formatting features. Things like page margins, grid size, and page layout can be set from this tab. Finally, we have the resources tab where you can find references, tutorials, and engineering resources that will help you get started. Thank you for watching.